Hey, how you guys doing? Uh, we're out here in the Cleveland National Forest today, me and my buddy Haas. Hey, how you doing? And we're uh, out here scouting game, doing a little recon. We're putting out our uh, trail cam. I'll show you real quick what we did. Got a little Bushnell trail cam that we put out that we're gonna see you know, what sort of game comes along and maybe we'll do a video in a month to see what sort of intel that we uh, gather. Now, my buddy Haas had been out here can um, hunting you know, a season ago and uh, he's got a little story about uh, a cat. Yeah, I was just over on the other side of the meadow. I don't know, you can probably see it in the background there. But uh, I decided to take a little shoot down down the wash and see what I could find because I, I didn't see any deer. Walked down there, it had been a fresh snow. And so, uh, the only tracks out here were mine. A couple of deer and a couple of bobcats. And uh, went down the wash, probably walked for about 10 minutes, come back up, walking my own, my own trail back out. And right on top of my prints were a set of about six inch uh, uh, mountain lion prints. He followed right on top of my prints, followed me down. And uh, that's when I started carrying a, uh, a backup weapon because uh, I don't want to meet a mountain lion without, uh, without something. So uh, it, it put the fear of God in me when I when I knew that I was being the hunt the hunter hunter had become the hunted. Um, obviously, he wasn't really hunting me because if he was hunting me, I probably wouldn't be here taking this video. Because you'll never know if they're if they're going to get you. They're, they're, you'll never know it. But there are lots of big cats out here. I've seen track uh, sign a bunch, and with all the deer that are in here, I, this is where I hunt. Uh, so with all the deer that are in here, the cats are going to be here. Uh, We'll see. Maybe we can get one on on uh, photo. On so cam. we're going to try real hard here with this trail cam in the next couple weeks that we're going to leave it out. Hopefully it doesn't get stolen by uh, a hiker or anybody passing by. We're kind of in a secluded area. But uh, we're going to give it a whirl and, you know, we'll be back out here, do a follow-up video hopefully in the next 30 days. And uh, hopefully we'll have some intel to report. Uh, Today we're just going to do a little recon, do some sights and sounds out here. Beautiful day. Can't believe that it's February. We're out here just in shirts, you know, no thermals. Beautiful day. Got the dogs out here with us, just having a great time. So come along. We'll show you some sights and uh, appreciate you coming along with us. Thanks. trail that uh, Haas has seen some signs on. See him coming up right now. That one's too round to be a dog. It's got to be a cat of some sort. Yeah, Let's see. Or something. Interesting. They're out here. It's fun coming out here bushwhacking through this stuff. It's pretty thick, but you know, we're gonna come out here pretty soon, I'm sure, on another game trail and opening. It's been like that the whole day. Come on, Mal. Come on, Mal. Come on, Mal. Let's go. Come on, Mal. Come on, Mal. There we go. All right, came up at the top of a little knoll. Just awesome views. Little islands of pine trees, 
a lot of scrub. But uh, for those that don't know, here in Southern California, two really bad wildfires in the past 10 years or so. But nature's coming back. It's going to take time, but she's coming back. Okay, Haas borrowed my buck hoodlum. See if we can't clear out this tree limb here. See how well it works. branch but it just broken with the wind you know we get these Santa Ana winds up here sometimes they're 50 60 70 mile gusts where they have to close the interstates down because it'll just blow big rigs right off the road so it's taking a little work but it's uh... there we go mission accomplished and that's the buck hoodlum in action Might be hard to see in the sunlight. There's a couple hawks floating around up there. I don't know if it'll catch it or not. They're just catching a thermal right now. Two of them. Before I got the camera out, they were kind of like playing with each other in the air. I think that's called flirting, John. <laughs> Well, we came across this sink, and then we found this. Just never know what you're going to find out here in the woods. You know, I think they used this years ago. For, uh, water for the cattle. Because they used to do a lot of cattling up here. They still do. Some of this forest land is still being utilized for that. But... Here's a couple concrete ones, and I'm sure we'll probably get some animal activity around this. Are they? The pipe comes from the oh CMP yeah. Up there. That I bet you they'd fill this out of the CMP up there. Yep, the pipes broke. I bet you that's a spring right there. Yep. And they'd fill these out of the spring. Yeah, it probably is because it's a sinkhole. Pretty cool. We're bushwhacking now. Basically what we're doing right now is uh, bushwhacking following game trails, cow trails. Just seeing where the uh, trail leads us. So come on, let's go find it. across out here some piece of plywood we're just bushwhacking we're going to investigate what it is let's go check it out you had a bow stand up there yep looks like it was an archery stand for the wind or whatever took the tree out because this is the little grove right here and there's just a ton of trails like a spider web of trails just going all through here where you got a pretty good view here, we'll come around. Kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at. You know. So, there's the oak. 
there's the platform that looked like somebody's tree stand, you know, a long time ago. But uh, this looks like it could have been some sort of game trail super highway through here. Nice area. Just beautiful country. You know, we've been walking now a couple miles, and we're still about a good, probably mile, mile and a half away from the truck. So we're uh, we're still out here scouting, bushwhacking around. We saw something move when we came up to this meadow, but uh, it happened so fast that uh, we couldn't get it on film. I don't know what it was, but you know, we're out here. There's a lot of cows free ranging but there's also deer out here too feeding and god knows what else so hopefully maybe before this hike's over hopefully we'll see something we'll keep you posted okay hoss we're gonna be test you we're gonna do an edc check what do you got on you out here in the bush well first couple are, are my stuff i carry every day at work you got just a quick little lock back buck actually it needs to be cleaned Pretty simple. How's that hold up for you? Oh, it's it's great. Holds buck, it holds an edge real good. Can't beat buck. Yeah, what I what I use that for every day is setting lead and disc in the sidewalk. For I'm a land surveyor, and uh, setting monuments in the sidewalk. I scratch the lead with that thing. Oh, cool. And it's fine. Then always, always have. All right, here we go. We're gonna test Leatherman. Them. You never know when. I mean, it's just a Leatherman wave. It's not even an expensive model, but. It's got everything on it I need. You can cut down trees with this thing if you need to. And it works. It does. It works. It's durable. And you never know when you're going to need it. And Sweet. Always have that. Now, for being out here in the bush, obviously we don't have a permit to be carry, you know, everywhere. But yeah, we notice that you're carrying a uh, yeah some hog leg with you. That's oh, he's my, got his buck. That's my other buck hunting knife. Sweet. Let I take that, that anytime I go in the outback. All right, look at that. And buck used to be stationed right here in San Diego in El Cajon until they moved to Idaho. Well, it was too expensive in California for them anymore. Yep. Thank you, Governor. <laughs> and this, <coughs> remember me telling you about the kitty incident before. It's when I started carrying this. And we're doing a quick safety check here. Ruger P89, nice. nine millimeter. I have just, I, I, in college, one of my buddies had one of these. I took it out first time, shot it, first clip through. I put all 10 in a six inch ring at 20 paces. And I've wanted one ever since. About, uh, I don't know, six years ago. Sweet. Because they, they discontinued the P89. They started making the P95 with the, uh, uh, it's not carbon frame. It's like a composite. It's a poly, like poly, it's a poly polymer, polymer frame. Thing. This has got the aluminum frame on it, and uh, it's it's a lot heavier than the than the polymer. But I've always shot well with it, and uh, love it. Now I must say that uh, I got to handle the gun when it first came out here, and it's a nice gun. So if you happen to find one for sale, hey, I would highly recommend that you get one. Never hey, had a problem with it. Always been accurate. So we're gonna do a quick EDC check on me here, keeping it real. Carrying a SE Azula on my neck knife. And we're bringing out the Buck Hoodlum. Now, we're gonna be doing a video gear review on this later on. I know that Iron Monkey Z has done a few, and you know, there's been some uh, let's say issues and reservations about the knife. We're gonna give it a West Coast try. I know that they gave it an East Coast try, but uh, we're gonna give it the West Coast test. So this is our EDC check while we're out here in the woods. Uh, we didn't see any game. How many miles do you think we walked today? Uh, I'd say probably three in. I mean, a roundabout sort of way, so I'm guessing we're gonna cover five to six by the time we're done. Yeah, 
and we a lot of it you know we did a lot of bushwhacking getting off the trail going through some of the scrub that you see in the background you know uh, surprisingly to me it wasn't that hard walking um, we're almost to the truck so this is a wrap on our day out in the woods you know we didn't have you know any wildlife to show you but hopefully with that game cam in a couple weeks you know I'll have some photos and we'll do a video then of uh, what we pick up thanks for watching